2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, Question Number 21, Part A. Juma bought a house four years ago for Kenya shillings, two million five hundred thousand. The value of the house rose steadily over four years to its current value of three million seven hundred Kenyan shillings. Calculate correct to two decimal places the annual rate of appreciation in the value of the house so when we are calculating appreciation uh, uh, we use a formula of uh, compound interest that is the uh, amount is equals to principal one plus r over a hundred to is to power n where r is the rate of interest n is the number of years so because here now we have been given the amount the amount is what the house has appreciated to so we say it is three million uh, seven hundred the uh, three million seven hundred thousand that is the amount is equals to the initial value which was invested with its principal is two million uh, five hundred thousand uh, that is five hundred thousand you multiply by one it was appreciating at a rate of uh, that's what we want so we say it is plus uh, that is the rate uh, divided by a hundred just I've shown here and here you multiply by it uh, the time it took to appreciate to that which is four years so what is remaining is n so we can get uh, we can divide uh, we can divide this we divide that uh, we divide by a hundred thousand then you say the fourth root since we, that is a uh, fourth root uh, or you can say we can also use put, uh, this uh, that is uh, 37 you divide by 25 37 uh, divide by 25 you, you either get the fourth root or you say get the power of 1 over 4 is equals to 1 uh, plus r divided by 100 so we can get uh, we'll be able to get uh, uh, this is one uh, point uh, that is uh, one, when you divide uh, the fourth root you're going to a calculator to get the fourth root of uh, one of uh, one, one, that is seven over 25 uh, you can also raise it to power one over four uh, that is uh, you can also say uh, this is 37 uh, divided by 25 you raise it to power 1 over 4 it is the same as the fourth root is equals to 1 uh, plus r over 100 so when you do that uh, then you'll be able to get uh, this is uh, uh, I can separate there uh, so you'll be able to get uh, uh, this is one point when you do get the fourth root of that uh, using your calculator you get 1.103 is equals to uh, you get uh, 1 plus uh, r over 100 so subtract 1 from both sides you get 1 r over 100 is equals to 0 0.10297 uh, so uh, which we have actually we rounded off to uh, 0 0.3 so you can just write it like that uh, and then uh, so when you multiply both sides by 100 you get r is equals to uh, 10.3 uh, you can say zero so that is uh, that is uh, the rate of uh, interest the rate at which uh, the house was appreciating uh, so that when you do that you get three marks uh, part b we are told at the same time juma bought the house in 21a that is what we have calculated up there tony also bought a car valued at uh, five million one hundred thousand kenya shillings the value of the car depreciated steadily uh, at a rate of two percent every four months determine the current uh to the near the, determine the current the car determine correct to, to the nearest shilling the current value of the car uh, so rate is equals to two percent uh, and uh, because it is depreciating two percent every month uh, so in a, in a year 
that will take uh, three uh, three times because a year has four twelve of man, months so four eight and twelve uh, so in four years n will be twelve so you apply the same formula and say uh, amount you can say amount which is the value of the car is equals to the principal so when it is depreciating we use the formula amount is equals to uh, p uh, one instead of plus we use minus r divided by a hundred at uh, bracket n so we are going to say this is five five million one hundred thousand uh you 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 multiply by one minus our r is two over a hundred and the n is twelve uh so you can use your calculator uh you'll be able to find uh, this is uh, using your calculator uh, you find it is uh, 400 uh, 4 million uh, two, uh, that is uh, 2,055 2,055 0.29 and because we are told to write uh, correct to the nearest uh, sharing 2.29 is less than 0 0.50 so we say it is approximately 4, 4 million uh, two thousand and fifty five so that's uh, four million two thousand and fifty five so that's how you do that see the house bought in 20 part 21a this is the house uh continue to appreciate in value at the same rate while the car brought in 21b that is the car bought by tony continue to depreciate in value at the same rate determine the number of years uh, from the time of purchase it would take for the value of the house and the value of the car to be equal uh, give the give the answer correct to one decimal place uh, now what we need to do here is the house was bought at 25 two, that is two, 2 million uh, we have uh, 500,000 so it continued to appreciate so we say it is 1 plus uh, 10 point we had already we already calculated the, the interest so it is 10.3 divided by 100 you close the bucket and we say the number of years uh, so that is when we let be equal to the car is depreciating 5 million 100,000 100,000 you close the bracket 1 minus the rate is 2 uh, divided by 100 and close the bracket because it is appreciating every four months so it means in a year it will have, it will have 3n in three years 3n uh, because uh, in a year it has uh, it appreciate three times so if you are able to find uh, this uh, then you should if you are able to find this then you are able to you are able to uh you you'll be able to to get uh, the, the 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 value so this in price we can simplify here and say uh two million five hundred thousand uh, this is uh, five hundred thousand uh you simplify this you'll be able to get uh, uh you, you you'll be able to get one point uh one zero three uh you close a bracket you say it is n is equals to you say it is five million one hundred thousand you multiply by zero point nine eight you close a bracket and you say three t so you'll be able now to say uh we come here and say this is a uh, we say now we divide both sides with this value and we'll be able to get uh, uh, 1.103 1 you, uh, you divide by uh, let's put that correctly we divide by 0 0.98 raised to power n now we combine these two is equals to when you divide you can divide this uh, million here 
and this million uh, 100,000 divide by 100,000 then you'll be able to get it is 51 uh, divided by 25 uh, so you can now get the logarithm you say uh, this implies that n the logarithm of uh, 1.103 1 you divide by uh, 0 0.98 it equals to uh, the logarithm of uh, the logarithm of uh, uh, this is uh, 51 uh, divided by 51 divided by 25. So you can now be able to get n. You say n is equals to uh, you divide the logarithm of the, this log two. We get the logarithm of this. You divide by the logarithm of this you'll be able to get n is equals to uh, i don't know whether i'll be able to show you that uh, so you say n is equals to uh, when you divide uh, 51.1 uh, 51 uh, 51 divided by 25 you'll be able to get it is the logarithm of uh, 2.04 and then you divide by the logarithm of uh, this other this other one the logarithm of this uh, that one you can say one point uh, that is one point uh, one zero three divided by zero point nine eight uh, so when you divide that you get n is a uh, n you'll be able to get four point nine uh, let's put that correctly four point nine the 4.4 not 9 4.4 uh, 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 that is 8 that is 7 uh, so because we are supposed to to write to one decimal place this will take around 4.5 years for the two to be the same uh, in value so it will take for four four and a half years for the car to depreciate to a value which will be equal to the to the value of the house after appreciating at the rate of uh, our uh, rate of 10.3 percent this is supposed to be percent so so that's how you go about that question and uh, you get yourself 10 marks